Hey, it's Tractor Guru, and I'm working on my mower today. I took the deck off of it because it was not cutting even. And if we come outside here, I found out why it wasn't cutting even, guys. Now, I'm kind of rough with this mower. And so I hit stumps and stuff. And guys, this right here is why it wasn't cutting even. See that? Yeah, for those of you that don't know, that's supposed to look like that. It's supposed to sit inside of that track. So I hit something and it loosened it up enough that it went outside of the track. And there's also a stick stuck back in there. Look at that. But this deck's, I mean, this deck's been beaten, guys. It's taken quite a beating. Uh, I got new spindles on both of it. Or newer spindles. On both sides. One of them. I guess they're both spinning okay. I thought I heard one of them was uh, vibrating or making more noise than the other. But that just may have been because that blade was like that and all messed up. So I'm going to go grab a wrench real quick and we, can't, we will see if we can't get this thing fixed. Now I'm pretty sure I got the right wrench in the truck right over here because it's a 9 16 I believe. Maybe a 5 8 I actually think it's a 5 8 and I got a 9 16 in here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I don't. Yeah, there it is. All right. There you go. All right, back to work. Let's see if this it is a nine sixteenth. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was a nine sixteenth or if it was a five eighths. So let me just go ahead and pop out this little tripod thing here in the grass, and we'll let you guys watch. Now tightening that's loosening right there. I'm gonna throw my numbers away now I feel Alright guys, when I said I thought I had a spindle going out, I did. I'm going to show you guys what a bad spindle looks like. See all that play in there? In that, in the blade holder there? I knew I had one going out because I could hear it whining and it, the deck was really vibrating a lot more than it should have. So no worries, I have another spindle that I thought was bad laying around. So I'll just go grab it, throw one on throw it on and these spindles on this deck seem to go out a lot or maybe it's just I'm really hard on them I don't know it's a 38 inch deck so if any of you guys have spindles that are going out a lot on it let me know down let me know down in the comments so I'm gonna go ahead and continue taking this off yes sir Bob look at that snapped right off the spindle and there's your bearings right there as you can see spindle's still good the spindle still moves moves good but guys this right here that's not supposed to look like that guys well there goes my spare spindle i had laying around let's go grab it this is why i like having spare parts around so when something like this happens you can have a spare laying around that you can use. Here's my spares. You can see it's all assembled and it is tight, which is what we want. Now as far as now as far as the blades go, they are gonna need sharpening. They are a little bad, as you can see. The edge is well rounded. But yeah, there's the blade. You can see on the bottom just how much these blades have been through. Get the grinder out and we'll fix that. You can also see here. How much this one here is worn because this is the one i believe that was on that side of um you can see where this one slipped around to there but this one right here is the one where the spindle is bad i don't i don't know why that looks like that it looks like it was really rubbing and chafing on that as you can see it rubbed it down to bare steel so yeah all right to get a 5 8 in gotta open up that door more all right i got it right here five eighths inch 
And there's the ratchet for it. Now in order to take this spindle off, the spindle has four bolts, one, two, three, four, on the bottom side that screw into the spindle on the top. As you can see on this one, as you can see, they just screw in. Alright, now as you can see, here's a plate that goes on the bottom of the deck. This plate here, as you can see, it goes right there on the bottom side of the spindle, just for a little bit extra support, I guess, is why they put that on there. And then here's the spindle. Get out here. Alright, so here, here it is. As you can see, this plate here, this was really wearing on here. But, yeah, that would just sit right on there, just snapped right off. But anyway, here's the difference between the aftermarket and the stock, as you can see. Round square, or rounded square. There, right there's the difference. That's all the difference there is. And that's just the way it is in the one that I got. It may be different than others, but got some baling twine in here that I gotta try to get out. And I'll be right back and we'll put this bad chicken in here. I'd say that's snug enough. I don't know if you can see, but I'm sweating buckets out here. Uh, I am going to have to get a new one. Because this one here is indeed loose. I don't know if you can see the travel. But it's a lot better than that one. I couldn't have put that one back on. I probably could have, but I wouldn't have felt good putting that one back on. Knowing that it was snapped off and ready to rattle the deck apart. Let's get these blades sharpened to get this video wrapped up. Now remember, safety first. It's not sunny outside, but you know what? These are the only safety glasses I could find. Now I'm trying to find a platform to grind off of. Bucket full of sockets and ratchets will work. That ought to do it. Now to find out what to set you guys on. Alright, I hope you guys are going to be able to see this. I don't have my phone out here, so I can't tell where I'm pointing that at. Oh well. There goes nothing. that edge a lot better than I can and it'll cut grass a lot better you can see I shined up the bottom there one down one to go kind of looks like you guys might be starting to fall off
outer edge on these two, on this one too, out towards the edge on these, it's practically, these blades are about done. I mean, it's practically straight up and down. Um, when I get them off of here, that's just the way it is. They're old blades and they're wearing really a lot on the outside edge. Now guys, here's the hard part that I always mess up on. That way. That's the way that they spin. Okay. I'm going to take my grinder and grind an arrow into the bottom of the deck because I always forget which way I take the blades off and I can't remember which way they spin. So it takes me a while. Lots of times I even have to crank over the engine to see which way it spins and blah, 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 blah. By the way, the engine spins clockwise. Clockwise. For those of you that didn't know that. So yeah, just a little fun, fun fact.